Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Uptime Kuma on Dockage. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So. Let's get back to your registered programming. So a little bit about Uptime Kuma is it's a fancy self-hosted mo monitoring tool. Um, you can use it to monitor all your servers on, on your network and make sure they're up or not. Uh, Uptime Kuma. And then um, the, the features are the monitoring, HTTPS, TCP, and then fa fancy reactive a fast ui ux a notifications on telegram discord uh 20 second intervals multi languages multiple status pages map status pages to specific domains p a ping chart certificate info and proxy support and two-factor authentication support so uh, that's what we will be installing today so I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to scroll all the way down to how to install Uptime Kuma on Dockage. And then I'm going to go in Docker Compose. So a version 3.8 of Docker Compose is being used. I'm going to set some services and the service underneath the service is called Uptime Kuma. The image is coming off Docker Hub because there's no URL before this. And it's version 1 for the do a Docker image tag. And then the container names Uptime Kuma. The volume is using a local uh, a, a volume down here. So, and then this is on the host side, and this is on the container side, app data. And the ports are 3001 on the host side, and on the container side is 3001. Restart always, so, so this means if you stop it or any other reason, then it'll always restart. And the volume down here to set the local of, of volume. So I'm going to go over to uh, copy raw file. And then I'm going to go over to my dockage and get this installed. So I'm in my dockage. I'm going to go over to compose. And then I'm going to put a stack name in. So I'm going to do uptime kuma stack. And then now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to paste in the docker compose that we copied. And um, I'm going to go ahead and deploy. Now it is deployed and ready to go. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to go over the options. So when you're on your home page, uh, you'll see one active or more, depending on what you have. So I'm going to go over to my Uptime Kuma stack. And you can edit the uh, uh, the Docker Compose. You can restart, update, and then it pulls the image down. You can stop it. You can stop and down. And then you can delete it. Um, and then you can see the containers down here. You can get to the UI from here. You can also go into the container and I have a terminal. So I'm going to go backwards and you can see the logs down here. So it's actually a really nice interface. And then you can see the Docker comp compose over here. And um, then you can go into the, um, the edit. And you can actually add more containers to this Docker compose if you'd like. You can go down to edit right here. And you can edit the ports, the volumes, the restart policy, and then environment variables, networks, and container dependencies. You can also put it in an external network um, or an internal. And then you can press save button. You can discard the changes. Um, you can go ahead and save. And there we go. So that's a little bit about the container options. So now when you're on your dockage homepage, you can go into the Uptime Kuma stack over here. You can um, you can also see it's healthy. 
So I'm going to go into the UI now. And you'll create an account. So I'm going to create an account real quick. So now we've created an account and you can see that it's almost the same UI because it's made by the same creator. So Dockage and Uptown Kuma are made by the same creator and developer. So it's uh, it's really familiar. So I'm gonna go in here, cr create a, um, okay, now you can turn on certificate expire, expiry, uh, a notification down here. You can also ignore TLS and you can turn this upside down to uh, to see the status. So so if it's up, it would be down, different things like that. So now you can see it's up and you can see response, average response, uptime, uptime on 30 days. So 24 hours and then 30 days uptime and then certificate expiration. What we, uh, and you can see pause, edit, clone, delete. Um, you can see graphs down here. I want you to build up more data. You can also see status pages. Oh, these are really nice. You can create a status page. And then you'll put a slug in there. So now you can uh, ch change the title of the page. And then you can put a description in. And then you can also put a, a footer te a, a text in right here. And then you can change the theme from light, dark, or auto. You can show tags and then show pa p powered by. You can turn the on or off. You can also show certificate expiration. You can put a domain in. So this is really nice to put a domain in. And then you can um, put a Google Analytics ID in so you can track who comes to a site. You can put custom CSS and you can delete it. So you can set, save it and see it. You can also put a monitor in so it has more info. There you go. And then it shows you that it's been up. So um, you can go back to the dashboard. You can go up here to maintenance and you can schedule maintenance to happen. So like you could do testing and then you could do, uh, do description, the affected monitors, and then put it on all status pages or just a specific status page. You can go down here and select the strategy of what you want to happen with this maintenance. You can select the time zone. Then you can put a date and time in of when it's going to be ma ma maintenanced. So um, you can go over here and put it in. So there you go. And then you set a save it and then you can see that it's ended. And um, you can pause it, edit, and delete. So uh, that's a little bit about Uptime Kuma. Oh, wait, I didn't go over the settings. Um, so there's ge a general uh, display time zone, server time zone, search engine visibility. You can, you can allow indexing or discourage. You can also set the entry page to a status page or, a da or, or the dashboard. You can also change the primary base URL. And then uh, you can set up a Steam API key, um, uh, enable a name service cache, uh, a Damien, and then you can also enable a DNS caching, and I would not recommend that. And uh, you can uh, set set a Chrome uh, Chrome or a Chromium executable right here, or you can auto detect. You can go into appearance and change the appearance of it. You can set up notifications, and this is really nice because there's there's quite a bit of services that you can use. And um, you can also set a, a reverse proxy, so you can set up Cl Cloudflare tunnels. You can also go down here and trust proxies. So if you're behind like a proxy of Nginx or Apache or, or traffic, you can say trust the proxy, a yes or no. Uh, and then press the save button. You can also add tags. So you can add a tag to a monitor right here. And then you can pick the color. So green. And then there you go. The tag's there. And then you can filter by the tags. Once you refresh the page. And then there you go. You can filter by the tags right there. You can uh, a monitor history. So you can set this to 365 days. 
and then it'll keep the uh, the, the the history for 365 days, or you can do lower or higher. You can shrink the database, but this is already been done for you. And then clear all statistics if you're on the latest uh, is created after 110.0. And then uh, a Docker host, security, change your password, two-factor authentication, disable auth, and log out. You can set up your API key. Um, you can set up a proxy. And then you can back up, but this is not recommended because it's deprecated. Um, and then you can see the about and the version. So that's a little bit about the UI for Uptime Kuma. So I just went over step by step on getting Uptime Kuma working on dockage. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.